Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so we're looking at the next two weeks and what it is that we can potentially help you with here. Okay, so using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot and Shadow Healing. These are super cool, so we'll do those at the end, so make sure you stick around for those. Okay, so Aquarius, let's start with Mystical Healing reading cards. Alrighty, you know it's really interesting because um, when I was met, that just flew right off the table, banged into the wall and scooted under the table. And it's upside down, I can't even see it. Anyway, let me just continue shuffling and talking. When I was meditating on your energy, I really felt the sense of some sort of new beginning. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Wow, there's a lot flipping out here. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, see, no other signs have flipped or flipped out like that. Like this, yeah, okay. Actually, no, I don't want those two because there was two and I only want one more. Let's just see if it flips out and then we can... Oh, too many, too many. We'll do the last one last. Okay, I'm just going to pick this card up. Okay. Aquarius. So this card here landed on the floor. Okay, and this says access clear thinking. Very interesting. This person I feel like is um, going into some sort of meditative state to begin with. Meditative, potentially, but at least taking some time to reassess, I would say. Okay, they've got this ball here, and I feel like this ball is, um, it looks like paper. Very interesting, because I've only ever seen it as sort of yarn or string, but it looks like paper, and do you know what? I'm getting here Aquarius is that it's like on this paper is written your life story it's like your your life story has been on this paper and it's kind of like you have it's it's gone through this maze because if you can see I don't know if you can see clearly but this paper is coming from this maze right it, it was through this maze and that's what it feels like this absolute maze of a life right which i suppose we all have had to some degree but with her it's, it's like she's she's rolling this in and it's so funny because i usually see this as this being rolled out through the maze Okay, um, so yeah, this is such an interesting way of seeing it. Anyhow, up above her, here, is this other maze. And I feel like this is sort of you contemplating the direction in which you will now go. Because there is this, I just strongly get that there's this new beginning happening for you. And yeah. I feel like this is you, okay, you're there and you're, it's sort of like you're looking over your life and, and what, it, what it is that has transpired and going, okay, wh how do, where do I want my life to go now? Which direction do I want that to go in, right? Um, so, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Tell me more about Access Clear Thinking. For Aquarius please and I just wonder if because of everything that has happened through your life it's made things not so clear for you so it can kind of be a bit like oh I you know I don't know about this and it's I don't know about that and it could be really hard for you to make a um, clear decision as to which direction to go in or, or that um, I want to say maybe that um, internal guidance system may be a bit clouded um, and so I feel like you rolling it, sort of reeling it all in, in a sense, 
um, is going to allow you to put it into this ball so that you can create a different vision. Okay, um, so we have the eight of inspiration here. I feel like things will get a lot clearer as you go through this process, Aquarius. Okay, you're going to be able to move forward at full steam ahead once this ball of the story of your life has been reeled in. Because this is very interesting. I have never seen this before, Aquarius. This person here on the inside underneath this cloak thing, it looks like to me like they've been wrapped in bandages. Um, so there's been some sort of um, wounding that's happened and yet over the top of that she's placed this cloak. So it's sort of like she's redressing herself in a sense. Acknowledging everything that's happened. She's not denying everything that's happened. She's acknowledging it but she's redressing herself. And she's working out also, you see the angel wings here? There's one wing. She's working out where even that goes. She knows she's got the wings. She knows that they're there. She's working out where everything goes now. Where it all fits, okay? And um, yeah, I just feel like as you go along through that process, it's going to become clearer and clearer for you. And that journey will build momentum. Um, in a really positive way and I feel like you're going to really step into your own, step into your power, you know, and we have the magician here as well, which I really love that this is coming. Um, this is so positive. I adore this for you. You know, this is you creating, you creating what it is that you want um, to have transpire in your life what you want that to look like you know and the thing is the exciting thing is Aquarius you can play around with that you can play around with it and see what works and and what doesn't you know you can you know you've got these resources you've got so many resources actually I think that you've gained throughout your life that you can put to use now before the resources may have been for you to um cope with particular situations you've got uh, not you know the thing is you've not just got one tool bag I feel like you've got a freaking suitcase is full of them you know you've got so many things that you can access there are some tools that you will no longer need you can throw away now but there are other tools that are absolutely going to be needed along this journey Okay, um, so yes, now we have next thing that jumped out here. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, see this could be a matter of you starting to practice that. If that's not so clear for you, start practicing listening to your intuition. Okay, because you see here there's this, um, and the other thing I want to say is this is could be about you planning out what it is you want to do and using your intuition to guide you there because as you can see here she's got plans for an egg and then what has um, come out of the egg is these um, pigeons I think or birds whatever they are they're birds anyway whatever they are like they're not birds but I don't know what type of birds anyway that's not important you know, this is also, I'm seeing these compasses here. So this is um, coming out of your head and into your heart and into your solar plexus to let this intuition take the lead because I feel like for so long there has been this lead from the head and, um, and now it needs to come from your intuition, okay? And that's actually then go, everything will align when you do that. Okay, whereas when you're in your head, it's going to send you off in all different directions and nothing's going to make sense. And the other thing is that your intuition is not going to be as clear when you allow your mind to take the lead. Okay, so it's your intuition that needs to take the lead. Yeah, so we've got the eight, two cards, I only want one, not oh, that was three. 
um, we, we've got the eight of voices here and this is this sort of self-imposed prison that we can tend to put ourselves in when we're too much in our heads right um, and and we feel like there's no way out because we're not seeing things clearly whereas when we access this intuition we don't need to be using the old noggin to lead us because it, it, our mind actually restricts us because there's always this um you know the ego the ego's job is to protect us right but it also inhibits us because it's like oh well if you go over there what if this happens and if you go over there what if that happens and remember when you went over there and that happened and you went that way or or there was that person with with that those color eyes and you trusted them and then this happened like this is what our ego does this is what our mind does it doesn't serve us okay whereas if you listen to that intuition um, and practice with that so that you begin to trust it um, then that muscle is only going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and you're going to um, start traveling along this new journey with um, with confidence okay we have the six of inspiration here as well which I absolutely love here and um, see this is I feel like this is you look there's a there's the star on top here this is definitely you right standing in the spotlight like yeah I totally own this <laughs> I love this Aquarius and you know, there are these people down below here, you know, really looking up to you, looking up to you in the sense of what progress you have made. And this is the important thing is to reward yourself for that, to really go, wow, I've come such a long way. I've made this progress. I am a star. Um, the only risk with this sometimes is that um, with the six of inspiration is there there can be a bit of cockiness so just be aware of that right um i it's really interesting because i don't feel like you'll allow yourself to get to that but for some reason it's coming through so i have to say it okay but this is definitely showing progress along the journey here okay so we've also got here listen to your guardian angel so look you've already got two you've got your intuition and your guardian angel both guiding you in the best direction for you okay and this guardian angel here is you know you've got this heart and solar plexus space highlighted by this light okay um again a new beginning now here's the thing this new beginning, this new journey, not everything is clear. Some of you want to plan it out to the finest detail so you know exactly what is going to happen. And this is where trusting your intuition really does come into play. Okay, because that's a safety mechanism. And I feel like at this point in your life, you don't need that anymore. Yes, once upon a time you needed that to protect you and to keep you out of harm's way understandable and now in order to allow your intuition to lead you you need to trust it okay and i feel like this is a really 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 big thing for some of you okay so tell me more about listen to your guardian angel here please tell me more about this you know, and look, the fact of the matter, Aquarius, is whatever is meant for you, it's written in the stars, right? And so it's it's there. Too many cards here. Too many cards. It's here, you know? So, yeah, I kind of... The other thing I feel like is that it's really important for you to dream beyond what is possible. Dream beyond what is possible, Aquarius. I feel like I really want to remember that because I feel like that would be a really, really crucial. I feel like this is the crucial turning point of dreaming beyond 
what is possible for you. Very crucial. It's, it's that pivotal point, right? Um, anyhow, we have the three of emotions here. And yeah, see, look at these two here. They're sort of like in this state of like, what can we create? What can we bring into fruition here? And we've got this one here holding this crystal ball in front of her heart, right? So it really is this heart that can lead the way. And, and, I, and when I'm talking about that, I can feel that intuition as well, connected with this heart space, okay? We also have the five of inspiration here. I love this card because I feel like these women are making progress here. They're moving up, 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 up. And they've got these mirrors to help them here, right? But none of them are looking in the mirrors. Okay, part of me feels like this is the intuition. Part of me feels like there's something not being seen. Okay, and look, maybe it's the journey. Maybe it's the path of the journey that can't be seen, right? Um, but there's something that's been ignored. There's something that you don't want to see. And whether that's in, within yourself or not, no, I think it is. I do think it's within yourself. There's something that you don't want to see. And um, in order for you to progress, this thing that you don't want to see needs to be looked at. Okay, whatever that is for you. And then we have release fear. So this could very well be the fear that you don't want to see. Look at it peeking out from behind the door here. Like, hello, I'm here. Um, yeah. And there's this X on the door. And it's like, don't go there. This is the fear. Don't go into uncharted territory. Don't do anything without really planning it out first. Don't just trust that intuition because it will mislead you. Right? Look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the fool here. The fool taking this journey that everyone thinks is, you know, and, and the thing for you, Aquarius, you may even think it would be silly to do that. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, gosh, no. i definitely plan it out because you just don't know, right? Because of this fear. There's this fear here. and But the fear is what holds you back from actually experiencing your true path, your true destiny, your true calling. Because you do have a calling here. There is a mission here that you are, you know, in the process of needing to complete. Okay, so if you let fear hold you back, if you allow yourself to be in this self-imposed prison, you're not going to be able to complete that mission. Okay, so let's have a look. Tell me more about release fear for Aquarius, please. And I get that. I get that because I can really feel it, right? I get that there's fear. And the fear, it's in here. It's the ego. This is the ego protecting you. Remember that. It's the ego protecting you. And you can assure the ego that it's okay. You've got this. If there's a bear coming at you, you will run. You're not going to sit there and try and make friends with the bear. You know, but other things that you would like to experience, that it's okay. If you're in harm's way, you will listen. And I think it's about you having that trust within yourself that once upon a time you were in harm's way and, you know, maybe you didn't listen or maybe there was, this, you know, you weren't able to protect yourself. Now you can. This is different now. Okay, we've got the Hierophant, and I want to say that that's not to minimize anything at all. Um, trust yourself though, Aquarius. Know that you, you are more than capable of leading yourself in the direction that you need to go in. You are more than capable here. Okay. Wow, yeah, 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 we had the Hierophant here and this absolutely depicts exactly what I feel like is going on for you here. 
you know you want to it's like you want to get to the top of the mountain here right you want to get up there and you visualize yourself up there you see yourself up there but to actually go along the journey and the path of getting there feels so scary and you feel so vulnerable and you feel like there's no protection for you okay but you want to get there you really want to get there and um and i feel like there's also this fear of putting yourself out there in a sense fear of being seen it's like there's this there's this sort of um comfort zone in a sense that you've placed yourself in um, which has served you and yet now it's time to step out of this and this has been coming up for a few signs it's time to step out now this year is the year of action right it's time to act upon these desires that we want to arrive at okay and we have the Knight of Materials here, which I love. It's my favorite knight in this deck because this horse, look at it. Galapagian galloping along there with this beautiful rose chain, daisy chain, flower chain, beautiful. Flower in its hair, right? Doing, doing what horses don't do. And this is absolutely on point for you, Aquarius. This is about you doing what you don't do this could be fear of being seen again fear of standing out wanting to but not you, it's like seeing this horse and it's sort of like i imagine all these other horses in the paddock going oh my gosh you know i wish i could do that just secretly you know just quietly going oh, i wish it was me just carefree and being able to just gallop around like nothing matters in the world, you know. Okay, we now have reverse disassociation. Reverse disassociation. There's been a point in your life where disassociation has, has served you. To disassociate yourself from something or someone has served you. I'm not saying to now associate yourself with a particular person or, you know, to put yourself back in maybe harm's way because if we disassociate ourselves with particular people, there's generally a really good reason for that. Not saying that at all. Okay, I feel like what is important for you, Aquarius, is to bring yourself back from that, okay? It's sort of like meeting yourself again. It's giving yourself permission to come back into yourself because I feel as though there's been something that has gone on for you where you had an experience and it's like a part of you is left at that place and I feel like it's important for you to call at all aspects of your soul back not just from this lifetime but from other lifetimes too and I feel like because I feel like there needs in order to for you to step onto this new path the completion still needs to happen and I feel like the completion, in a sense, has happened, but not all of you is there. And so I feel like you need to bring all aspects of yourself back and be open to receiving those aspects. No matter... My voice just literally stopped me from speaking then. So this shows me just how tough this is for you, Aquarius. And I was going to say no matter what condition those aspects are in. Okay. Weird. That was weird. Okay. So let's have a look. Tell me more about reverse association. Disassociation. I do want to say, sorry, I haven't finished actually. Um, that, yeah, this is about you really connecting yourself back together, okay, because there's, there's, 
this keyhole and the key and um, but they, they're not a match yet things are not in alignment for these two actually join to open the door that you need to go through okay so there's this alignment that needs to happen okay so let's have a look reverse disassociation for Aquarius please tell me more about this oh we've got the sun oh I love it and the fool that's so funny that was on the bottom of the deck right cool though how cool like Oh, this is so exciting, Aquarius. I'm like super excited for you right now. And it's building and it's building and it's building. This is excitement. It's real. Aquarius, you've got to do this, right? This is just a whole lot of fun, a whole lot of positivity. There's, there's nothing bad about this whatsoever, right? There's just, you know, this also, though, is about this inner child. Yeah, and I love this. This is coming up with the reverse disassociation. This is about you bringing back your inner child and really working with this inner child and healing this inner child and loving it so that you can bring everything into alignment here, okay? Um, because it's sort of like this new beginning is in, it's there, but it's it's at a standstill. It's frozen in time. And I feel also as though the new beginning is clear. The path is actually clear. But because there's still this disassociation, you can't see it. Okay, because this person here is wandering along here. Da, 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 da. This is the way I'm going. Uh, but not actually seeing because they want to get into this other world. They want to get to the place they want to go to. They want to arrive at their destination, which is absolutely magical, okay, that they've created, okay. And it's right here. But she's not seeing it because she's actually not connected. She's not connected in with herself, okay. And I want to say this reverse disassociation will allow your intuition to come through clearly, You'll be able to hear your intuition a lot clearer and you'll be able to hear your guardian angel a lot clearer as well. Okay, so let's have a quick shuffle and find out. Nothing. Okay. Temper your criticism. Love this. Love this. Temper your criticism about yourself. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. <laughs> I love this. I feel like um, for some of you Aquarius, there's this sort of portrayal that you show to the outside world and it's very different from what is going on in your inside world. Okay, so this is very important for you to be very aware of and how it is that you actually, um, I don't even want to say just criticize yourself, actually abuse yourself verbally, mentally, and emotionally. Okay, um, because, yeah, I feel like these three are representing verbal, emotion, emotional, and mental and yeah, this is also a very important thing for you to get under control to allow this new beginning to take place. Yeah, we have the nine of materials here. And yeah, I'm feeling like that when you get that under control, and maybe this is something that you've been working on, but when it gets under control, all your dreams will come true. And it's sort of like, for some of you, it's it could be that you're almost there. And this is just the last thing that you need to get under control, okay, with the nine of materials showing up here. Um, but I've, this is going to set you free. This is going to set you free, okay, because it's sort of like the self-imposed prison here it is to do also with this criticism, okay. And we have the ace of inspiration. And look at this is this new beginning. 
right? This ace of inspiration, tapping into what is so passionate. What is so passionate, you know? Look at this flower here. It's the same flower that's in here, right? This is bringing this into this world here and actually making it happen. This is what happens when we reverse disassociation and we step in fully in to who we are and our world, okay? Doesn't mean that it's not okay to dream and, and you know, that it's, you need to, um, you know, come away from all that. That doesn't mean that at all. But it, yeah, I think I've explained that throughout. <sighs> Aquarius, we're going to have a look at the shadow healing cards now. Okay, so let's have a look. Three cards for Aquarius, please. Three cards for Aquarius. What's this one? Anger. Two more cards for Aquarius. There we go. Okay, so let's start with anger. Anger. Use your anger in a creative and positive way that allows you to maintain your dignity whilst producing a far more satisfying outcome. Love that. And this is it, you know, not holding that anger within, bringing that anger up and looking at it, listening to it. What does it want? What is it trying to say? Okay, not trying to suppress it. Now, which one came out first? I think the unhappiness did. Unhappiness. Searching for contentment is a well-travelled path that can be elusive. The hunt for happiness might not conclude at the destination, but joy can be found during the journey itself. Love that. Yes, enjoy the journey, Aquarius. I don't know if I've told you that in a reading before, but it has come up in so many readings. Enjoy the journey. Perplexed. Still unsure of what happened? Shake your head, roll your eyes, and respect that others chose to travel different journeys than you. Remember that each journey is important. Mm, that's interesting. Very interesting. And um, this could be actually you. You know, there might have been a journey that you travelled that you are wondering why on earth you did. You know, so this could be about you accepting yourself, I feel. Okay, so yeah, there's something for you to look at over the next two weeks anyway, Aquarius. Okay, so as you do that, make sure you're incredibly gentle and loving with yourself. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.